Hi everybody, this is Simon Ward of thetriathloncoach.com and I'm here with another instructional video for you. Today I wanted to talk about something that maybe more than a few of you are, are suffering from and that is a bit of late season fatigue and uh, maybe a lack of motivation, maybe some increasing niggles and how, what to do about those. Uh, it's something that a lot of people suffer from after they've had several months of training and then several months of racing one on top of the other. So uh, here we go. I've called this late season tri-fixes. So, and I've identified five potential problems. You may be suffering from one of them, you may be suffering from all five, and you'll find that some of the information I'm giving you relates to some of the other problems. So here goes, on my list, the first thing, and, and these are by no means in any particular order of importance or, or um, sort of happening to you, um, is increased fatigue. So let's say you started racing in May, you've maybe done one or two races per month, so that's May, June, July and August, you've probably done eight or nine races now. You feel a little fatigued, your legs hurt a bit more, you don't feel quite as fresh, maybe you feel a little stiff for getting up in the morning. So here's my fix. Um, as strange and as alien as it may be to triathletes, what about reducing your volume, your training volume by 20%? There's probably no real danger of you losing any fitness. Uh, remember, you've been training all winter, so probably since last October. You've been racing since May. You're a highly tuned athlete. Rest, at this point, is probably better than more training. Okay, so that's my second thing. First, reduce your training volume. Try 20% at first, but, but you need to give it a, a week or so before this will take effect. And the second thing is get a little bit more rest. Now that will happen naturally when you drop the training volume, uh, but try getting to sleep maybe for 10 or 15 minutes um, earlier per night, maybe sleeping in um, at the weekends if you get the opportunity, but certainly try not to feel guilty about the fact that you're not doing any training. Remember, if you want to improve your performances in these last races of the season, you've got to take some sort of action now. Okay, the second thing, perhaps you've had a drop off in performance recently. Maybe as you've been trying harder, races have been getting worse. Now, it may be that your overall times have been getting slower, and this could be related to problem number one, which is fatigue. But perhaps there's a bit of mid-season complacency settling in. So, whilst I would suggest you analyse your recent race results, don't focus too much on the time. Instead, think about some things that you could do better. So, maybe you've got a bit complacent with your... Um, with your start position in the swim. Maybe you're not trying to get out ahead of the bunch as good as uh, or as, as well as you used to do. Or perhaps you're not navigating and looking up because you think, well, I've done all this racing, I know what I'm doing now, I don't need to look up as much. And of course, you're going off target. Um, so it may not be that you're swimming slower just because you're swimming further. Uh, perhaps you've lost a bit of time in transitions because again, instead of getting sharper as the season's gone on, you've got a bit more complacent. Or maybe it's things like forgetting something because, uh, again, the complacency has set in. You think, I've done several of these races now. I don't need to make a list because I know what I need to take. And, hey, presto, you forget the chamois cream or the uh, loop for your neck. All right, so um, once you've analysed these and made a list of things that you could do better, okay, not that you're bad at, but things that you might be able to improve on, then make a top three and work on those in your next race. Don't try and work on more than three, otherwise it would just become a bit of a dog's dinner. All right, perhaps one of the things that's getting to you now is poor post-race recovery. Again, perhaps you're getting complacent. Maybe because you've done so many races, you think, I'm indestructible, I'm, I'm good at this thing now, I don't need to recover as much. But actually, you may need the reverse, you may need more recovery. So think about changing your routine, if you do have a routine. So... I would say the things you need to do, don't forget to do a cool down when you're finished, maybe some cold um, treatments, so ice baths, jumping in the lake to let your legs um, soak in the cold water, maybe you need to get some food in you straight away, do your stretching, the next day maybe a, an easy session and some massage. So plan out a routine and follow the routine and try to focus more on the recovery than on the training. Okay, Even take a day off. I'll emphasise that again. Take a day off. You are allowed to have a day off. You're a human being. You need a reward from a good performance. Okay, number four. Perhaps you found that there's a lack of motivation. Maybe you don't feel quite as fired up to, to do your training sessions on a lunchtime. 
maybe when you get home and it's time for a run, you're loitering in front of the telly, catching up with the newspaper, drinking a cup of tea or just falling asleep. That's probably a sign that you're fatigued and you need more rest or you need less training. So um, obviously see number one. But after 10 months of training you may also find that one of the things that's causing lack of motivation is the fact that you just get a little bit bored with your training sessions. So maybe you need to move them around a bit. I like generally people to have the same routine week in week out with sessions on the same points as an anchor but maybe you can jiggle that around a little bit and improve your focus. Maybe you can try some different sessions. Recently I've been training in the pool with some sprinters and just doing dive starts, 25s and 50 and I've really enjoyed it and my overall swim performance has improved too. Okay, finally number five. Um, maybe you're getting an increase in the number of aches and pains and niggles. That's probably a result of 10 months of hard activity, your body not getting enough recovery, so I would refer you back to number one here, drop your training volume, take more rest. I would refer you back to some of these here, so get particularly more massage, an extra day off, um, some stretching or some foam rolling, but don't ignore the niggles. Okay, you're not, You are a human being, you're not indestructible, you're not invincible. Everybody suffers, even the brownies and the wellingtons of this world get overuse injuries. So pay attention to what your body's saying and take uh, avoiding action. Make sure you go around the accidents before you head straight into them. So that's it. I hope those have helped. Um, if you're still flying, then again, don't think you're invincible. Maybe take some time and, and avoid the problems before they come along. But uh, I hope that you have some great end of season races and fairly soon we'll be heading into the winter and I'll be coming back to you with some great tips on how to improve for next year. But for now, race strong, race well, stay healthy, have fun and see you next time.